We're fresh on this one. We're very fresh. The direct just finished a couple minutes ago, and I, I, I'm just doing this. I'm just doing it. I'm just, I'm doing it. I'm here. Thought about taking some time. I thought about recording this tomorrow and just really chilling out. Oh, mm, this is hard. This is really, this is one of the hardest things to do as a creator. I, I mean, my heart gets pulled apart in so many different ways. I usually have a very good, and I still feel like even today, have a good unbiased take. That's how I feel. You might feel differently, but I feel like I normally have a very good unbiased take on whether a direct was good or bad or mid even. And the, how I judge directs isn't, oh, I just saw my favorite game. So this is my favorite direct I've ever seen. No, it. I judge them based on, is this what we needed right now? There were a couple of really good reveals. There were two sport game reveals that I liked. They're sport games. So it's like, I like them, but eh, and I'll explain more as we get into this direct. And then the big, here's where it's completely biased. I can't help it, guys. That final reveal isn't for me, and it just takes the wind out of the sails. I'm so excited for everyone else that can be excited for it. All right, all right, let's, let's reel it back a little bit. Let's go through this direct. It opened almost huge. I went live on Twitch with this, by the way, and we had like 20 to 30,000 people watching just like last time. And thank you if you were part of the live, it was insane. But before we went live, a lot of people said new Fire Emblem. And I just said flat out, no, that's not happening. But then when we cut to Fire Emblem Three Hopes, I about lost my mind thinking that a Three Houses sequel was on the way. Three Hopes? Wait, what? I, my brain completely blocked out the word Warriors like a bad dream. Like I didn't want to see it and I saw what I wanted to see. I like the Warrior games just fine. I think Age of Calamity was the best Warriors game that they've done and the story they told was incredible. But I was, I'm not, I was not looking for another Fire Emblem Warriors game. I was looking for the next big Fire Emblems game. No, 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 it's not a I new game. Then there was uh, Advance Wars 1 and 2. We saw more of that. Excited for that. No Man's Sky is coming to Switch. I think that'll be cool. It's hard to get, like, amped up for it, right? Because at this point, it's, what, like a five, six-year-old game? So it, it is a port. But it will be really cool to play that game on the go. And I, the footage that they showed was all running locally on the Switch. I would think a game like this would be a bit too much for the Switch. But it seems like they've managed to smush cram it on the console. It looks pretty decent. I'm excited to give it a shot. Then we get, in my opinion, easily the biggest reveal of the Direct. Wait, 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 wait! Rocket League? Wait, what is my soccer? Ha! Ah, ah, ha! It's Mario Soccer! It's Mario Strikers! And they get a Mario Strikers! Oh, they actually did it, chat! Chat! Oh my god! And it looks sick! It's all like Monkey Mondays! I don't know why I was so adamant that this wasn't going to happen. A lot of people, even in my chat, were like, new Mario Strikers? And I was like, nah, no way. There's no way Nintendo will do it. They, they freaking did it. This was easily the most hype I got through the entire event, and it was right at the start. Oh, it can only go uphill from here. There's no way it can go down. Call of Duty. Whoa! What is this Call of Duty Splatoon? I forgot about this. Okay, we knew about Splatoon 3, so it's not like a big reveal or anything, but they showed some of the, the Salmon Run, which is like the co-op mode that was in Splatoon 2. This is the new version of that. I love that mode. It's a lot of fun with friends. I like how this trailer started with that chopper coming on in like they're playing Warzone, dropping in the in the war in the net break. I'm gonna... I'm gonna Sorry, I'm, I am very excited for this. Uh, this game looks really good. I can't wait for it. The music was a little wonk, though. This music is giving me anxiety. Anyone else? From here, I gotta be honest, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, I mean, it was like 10 minutes ago, we, we just kind of go through a lot of ports. A lot of ports and HD remasters. Some of them really cool. Some of them kind of black. Oh, and this... Okay, this is kind of interesting, but not exciting. Disney has made a, a Mario Kart. Honestly, could be a hot take. I don't think every franchise needs a Mario Kart game. 
please don't cancel me on Twitter. <laughs> you can play as Jack Sparrow and Donald Duck. It's kind of like Kingdom Hearts Kart, really. The interesting thing is it's, it's developed by Gameloft, the people that made Asphalt. And the one thing I will say about that is the Asphalt series is a very well made game. <laughs> but I don't care. It looks, it does look good though. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my God, what? Can you actually do that in the game? Kirby car, car Kirby. Kirby can eat a car. What? Okay, I will say this was also super hype. I know we've, we've been knowing about Kirby, but we got another look at it and these new weird giant change. What did they call it? They called it something. Mouthful mode. That's so good. A they took inhale. so much inspiration from Mario Odyssey and you Enjoy. can see it. The way that Mario could like happy onto like anything like lampposts and people and frogs. Kirby really ran with that idea and thought, how can we do that with Kirby? Oh, I know we'll have Kirby eat our whole car and we'll have his little feet dangling out the back as he drives. We'll have him eat a vending machine, light bulbs, like traffic cones. I, uh, I think this game looks really fun. Honestly, this might be one of my favorite games of the year, and I'm not even that big of a Kirby guy. It just looks like they've done a great job with this one. Look at his little feet sticking out the back. What the heck is going on? What? MLB The Show is coming to Nintendo Switch. That means you can play modes like Road to the Show. I feel like I can say this without upsetting anyone. Maybe one person is like, oh man, I love baseball. But like, I don't, I don't care about baseball. Another port, but this one I'm excited about. The Klonoa games one and two are coming to Switch. They're Wii games that still look gorgeous. If you haven't played those, that's actually pretty good. Speaking of ports, we have Port Tool one and two coming to Switch. Great games. Honestly, feel like they should already have been on Switch. Like if you had asked me if Portal was on Switch, I would have guessed yes. Then kind of a port, but way cooler. Live Alive, a, a JRPG that previously had only been released in Japan, is getting that Octopath Traveler HD 2D overhaul and being released in, in, in the, here. Um, <laughs> and it looks good. I mean, I mean, it honestly does look kind of sick. It looks like uh, Triangle Strategy, which apparently as well, jumping ahead, Triangle Strategy. The first three chapters are going to be playable for free as a demo and dropped, I think they said today? It's a new iteration of the Wii Sports series. A new Wii Nintendo. Sports? This is, okay. I, oh my, I don't know, man. Wii Sports 2. Electric Boogaloo. We, <laughs> they made a Nintendo Switch Sports that is like a successor to the Wii Sports. I gotta be honest, I'm kind of excited. Like, this is what I meant by the two biggest real announcements were sports games. Kind of weird. We got Mario Soccer, and then we have Nintendo Switch Sports, which has soccer. Also, it has tennis, like Mario Tennis. Also, there's golf coming, and we have Mario Golf. Feels like we don't need all of these Nintendo sports games. I think you should pick a lane, Nintendo. That said, um, kind of excited. The bowling, they brought back bowling, and you can do it online with, like, eight people. Oh, or look at... Oh, look at how many people can win, play. Dude, best. that'll be so fun for streams with other content creators. It also looks like they're going to try incorporating the leg strap, that the one that they made for Ring Fit, but, like, adding that into this game, too, which is interesting. You can, you can, right now, on launch, all you can do is kick a ball, though. They said more support for that is coming later. For now, it's going to come with the game. And you can attach it to your leg, but the only thing you can do at launch is a mini game where you kick a ball into a goal. You stand there and you you kick a ball. So riveting. Very exciting there, Nintendo. Thank you. All right. I'll play some volleyball online together with Mr. Koizumi. We're just gonna um we're just gonna breeze right past when they played volleyball for like 30 seconds because um Alright, well, it's okay. It's okay, the game's not over. Now the other team serves. Koizumi receives it. Takahashi sets it up. Metroid Dread DLC. 
Uh, um, I think they did say they were gonna do this, but I forgot. There's a dread mode where you die in one hit. Screw that. Don't care. Not trying it. A rookie mode where it makes the game easier for little baby gamer. No, I'm kidding. I've already finished it, so there's no need to go back and play it on easy mode. And then uh, later on, they're gonna add a boss rush mode where you can do all the bosses. Again... That's fine. Kind of cool, I guess. But I've beat the game. I've beat the bosses. I gotta be honest. Dread isn't really the kind of game where I think anyone needs DLC. I think you just kind of play that game and have fun. You know. Oh, no. It's gonna be... Earthbound. I don't even know what to say about Earthbound, man. This is bigger than it seems because if everyone plays this, that'll tell Nintendo that there needs to be a Mother 3. Earthbound is, might be one of in like my, it's definitely in my top five favorite RPGs of all time. I love Earthbound. Every time Nintendo acknowledges Earthbound in any way, shape or form, I get excited because I think, <sighs> They, they know it exists. <laughs> they haven't forgot about it. Earthbound and um, Earth, Earthbound Beginnings dropping on the Switch like today, part of the Nintendo online service. I hope if, if enough people download them and play them, they'll seriously think about Earthbound 3. The creator of Earthbound retweeted the direct before it went live, getting everyone excited. Obviously, this is why I just... I just... Ah... Uh, Hmm. Then we have a montage. I'm just gonna move past it. We have a monta montage of a bunch of uh, games coming to Switch. That a lot of them look really good. This next thing, I can't, I can't decide if I'm excited about this or annoyed about this. First way. I'm not sure if I should be course, really excited or disappointed. I'm, I'm so conflicted. And I feel, I feel like I need your help figuring this one out, guys, because I just, I don't know how to feel. Mario Kart Eight. Deluxe, which was a Wii U game released in like 2016. Like, I don't even remember, like five years ago. It's DLC for the last game. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself, what? Oh, what, what are we talking about? Couple courses here. You know, like maybe like eight. Hold your hats. Hold your little weeby Nintendo hats. Because it gets insane. We're not talking eight courses. We're not talking 16 courses. We're not talking... 24 courses. Whoa, whoa. That's 48 additional courses we plan on releasing by the end of Just 2023. Just make a new game. 48 remastered, recreated from the ground up old school Mario Kart courses that you know and love, recreated and crammed into the Wii U version of Mario Kart 8. Even from the original Mario Kart on Super Nintendo. But Game Boy Advance, DS, 3DS, Mario Kart Tour. They even remade maps from the mobile game. It'll be interesting to play Double Dash courses not in a Double Dash cart. Maybe they'll add a Double Dash mode. This is insane honestly this is one of them things where like you expect nintendo to zig and they zag i feel like that's always the case you always expect nintendo to zig and they absolutely 100 percent of the time zag but this is like they zagged and then they zigged back just to fake you out and then right as you got comfortable they zagged again and now you're just so so zigzagged you don't even know where you began or where you left off i think this conf definitely confirms no mario kart 9 on the switch eight courses to be released over time until the end of 2023 my god this is literally we're at the start of 2022 this is a two-year-long plan i go back and forth on how i feel about this because on one hand sick you know it's essentially like we're getting a new game. There was nothing wrong with Mario Kart 8. I still love picking it up and playing it now. So we're essentially getting new game amount of content for half the price. Gets even better if you've already up to the $50 expansion pack because you get all of it for free included in that. So you get a whole nother Mario Kart game for free. So on one hand, sick. On the other hand, I've played Mario Kart 8 and new courses would be good, but I kind of want a new iteration with new mechanics and like new visuals and like re like i, I kind of want new new but this is new it's not new new but it's new and i don't know how to feel about that it's not it's exciting but it's it's fr it's frustrating in a way and then 
they, uh, as I said in my Pokemon review, wrapped the entire direct up in a turd colored bow. <laughs> I don't know, this man. This next segment will be our last announcement. What? Already? Is it Zelda or Mario? No, that's too mean. Uh, they wrapped it all up with Xenoblade 3, which, um, you know, that's fine. I, uh, I'm very, very excited for everybody who loves Xenoblade. If you love Xenoblade, this is probably the best direct you've ever seen. So there's going to be a subsection of people watching this that couldn't be more happier with this direct. I... It's still looking at this, it just kind of looks like a little bit more of the same. None of these characters really stand out as unique characters either. I don't know, not super attached to that game yet. I will give it a shot though. I will give it a shot. And then that was it. That was that's how it ended. Um That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. You know what? There were things I th thought we would definitely see. Breath of the Wild 2 still doesn't have a title or a release date. Genshin Impact was nowhere to be seen again. And I feel like at this point, I should just give up trying. Bayonetta 3 still has no release date. Literally nothing about Metroid Prime still. Probably the only time we're going to hear from Nintendo until E3. So at this point, I think we can expect to see some of that in months time, which is why I feel like we needed, we needed some announce. I actually thought we would see the Mario movie and I was kind of looking forward to that even, weirdly. So I, I, I think we just kind of didn't see what we needed to see, but you know, watching this back right now and breaking it down, I think there was a bit more than what I remembered watching it the first time. I think it's pretty, I think, it, I think I have to say it was a mid direct. In my completely unbiased opinion, it was very mid. I don't think it was bad. I don't think it was what we needed. And I also don't think it was even that good. I, it's tough because, you know, sometimes I feel like they're bangers. Sometimes I feel like they're eh. And I just feel like this one was a little bit eh. I feel like it was very heavy on the ports and not heavy on information. And the couple of announcements we got were sports games and that we're getting new Mario Kart maps. And we kind of already knew about Xenoblade. So I don't want to be that guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I feel like if I have nothing nice to say, I shouldn't say anything. But I need to make videos for the channel. And I need to react to this. I can't not. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know down below. Leave your comments. Like the video. Subscribe. I, I just, I just, I just don't know if that was it for me. I feel like we could have, I like, could have, it was fine. It was fine. It was mid. It was, it was fine. I'm going to get roasted. I'm so sorry. Please don't unsub. I hate, I hate it. I hate it when I don't like it. Bye everyone. <laughs>